Well, greetings. Uh, Lee Harder with you, TND. The last uh, day of May, uh, tomorrow is June the 1st, uh, the beginning <laughs> of hurricane season. Uh, and this is Hurricane Preparedness Week in South Carolina, uh, by the way. Uh, some events today, the uh, 21178 bypass corridor um, is going to be uh, have ground broken today. This is a project to improve pedestrian safety, et cetera, around that entire area around the SC State campus, uh, including access to the crosswalk and access to other, in other words, it, it, is, it is a big project. Uh, Congressman Clyburn is um, a major supporter and, 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 and arranged to make a lot of this happen. Uh, news that unfolding through the holiday weekend, Three arrests have been made in the shooting death of the six-year-old in Woodford, uh, the drive-by shooting death. Um, again, we'll continue to update you on that as developments warrant. Observing Memorial Day, uh, retired Air Force Colonel um, Hopkins of Nieces um, was our speaker uh, in, and helped us observe Memorial Day. And uh, this time COVID didn't get in the way of observances. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, Orangeburg Department of Public Safety's forensic lab, uh, operated in conjunction with Claflin, uh, has been re-accredited. Uh, this a lab is a, is a major achievement for an agency such as EPS, which uh, no, does not have to constantly use SLED laboratory for uh, all of its forensics type testing. Uh, of note, today is the first day of early voting in South Carolina, the new early voting period. Um, you can vote at the Orangeburg County Voter Registration Office and we'll be bringing you details on where else you can vote in coming days. Um, but it does get underway today and um, it's, it's been a long time in coming in the sense that we saw the success of early voting in the uh, 2020 election in South Carolina where we had um, a lot, fewer issues than did many states. All right, I hope you have a good day.